Good afternoon and welcome back to Steam Monday, part of Quarantined with the Edge. As some of you may have discovered, you can go into the Edge, but there's not much left in the Edge. There's no more furniture and video games or computers. We have a lot of books, though, and we have all your summer reading books, so remember to stop by and pick up your summer reading books. Graphic novels, fiction, nonfiction, plenty of stuff to keep you entertained at this time. So it is Monday, which means that it is Steam Monday time. Today, we are going to make a magical little box uh, that folds and unfolds using paper. So what we need today is paper. If you have origami paper, you are in good shape. I do not have origami paper because this is my kitchen, not hashtag the edge WPPL. So <clears throat> I'm going to use some regular paper, some glue. You want something fast drying, I only have Elmer's glue. If you have something fast drying, that's a lot better, but not really a, um, you don't really want to use the uh, um, um, super glue. Um, you want to have some scissors if you need, uh, paper, maybe markers. If you are using Elmer's glue, you're going to want to get some um, uh, wax paper. If you have like a glue stick, that would actually be really good or some other fast drying glue. Um, so for those of you that, who, like me who do not have um, origami paper, you're going to start off with a regular sheet of paper. If you have multiple colors of paper, that's good too. I only have white, so mine my project is going to be rather boring looking. You can try to do something with markers. Um, I tried it and kind of failed. Uh, but you can try. Maybe you'll have better success than I do. So we're going to take our paper and we're going to make a rectangle, a square. So to do that, we're going to fold one long, one that one, we're going to fold along, down along the long edge. Try to keep a nice um, sharp tip here. So, we, so I started off with this, and now I have this. I have a right triangle. So now this bottom piece we are going to now cut off. So I'm just going to use it. To, I'm just going to fold it along the the line that I have from the 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 first fold that I made, the triangle, um, to mark where I'm going to cut. And I didn't do a very good job because I'm rushing. Um, so this doesn't actually have to be like super perfect. Um, I know a lot of the times when you're doing origami type things and paper crafts, you really want everything to be like perfectly signed, like lined up. You can be like pretty well lined up with this and it'll still be successful because we are going to use glue. Um, and whenever you use glue with the paper craft, you don't always need to be perfect. So you can see I did this and then I did this, so I started off here, went here, went here, and now I'm gonna cut off this piece here. So that's where my scissors are gonna come in handy, unless you have origami paper. If you have origami paper, you're fine. You do not have to do any of this because you already have a square and you are ahead of the game. Good job. I do not have a square because I don't have origami paper sitting right at home. So this is just scrap. So now we're going to need these. You're going to want about at least like 10 to 12 of these, okay? So now we have our paper. It's actually the first fold is already done because this is the first fold. So look at that. We're starting up. So if you did start with origami paper, fold corner to corner, open up, and then fold the other corners. So you should have a sort of plus sign with, you should be able to do this either way. Now you're gonna take two of them and you're gonna fold in from corner to center on both sides. Okay, so I had this, now I have this. Now you're gonna take this part and you're gonna fold it out to the edge like this so I had this right now I have this I'm gonna do that with both sides so now we should be here where we have two pieces of paper with the little things here so now we're gonna fold over this line so we're gonna fold this edge to the center this edge to the center over this And there on both sides. And there on both sides. Try to get it as close as possible. Once again, we don't have to be perfect because we are using glue today. 
So we went from here to here, okay? So now we have a little strip like this. We're gonna take this bottom tip here and we are going to line it up with this. If you look at the top, we have like a little V here with your crease with the edges of the paper. So we're just gonna fold that up to your V so that the tip goes to the V here. So this is really the last easy fold of this project. So what we should have now, we went from here to here, this tip to this V here. So now folding this, we are now going to fold this at, along at a, at a 45 degree angle. Okay, so we went from here to here. Now we are going to take aha, this and we're going to fold it up and we're going to fold it at this mark here. So you can see my fold is right at the edge there. So we went from here up to here. So we should have little arrows going along either side. And then the last piece that we just folded, we're gonna now fold at an angle once again, so that we have like a, that. So we went from here, oops, is that where we went from? Yes, here to here. So your piece should open up like that and on the back side, look like that. Okay, so now we're gonna need two of these and we're gonna glue them together. So take another piece of paper and do the same thing. Fold corner to corner. And then take two of your corners and fold them to the center. If I had colorful paper, it'd probably be easier to see because of the lighting in my kitchen. It doesn't make this too apropos. Then take two of the corners and fold them, two of the corners that you folded into the middle and fold them out to that flat edge now. You can always just go back and rewind. Um, you're gonna be doing this a lot, so after you get this a couple times, you'll probably get a good hang of how to do this, remember how to do all this. And then from here, fold in. and fold in. Now take one of your one edge, fold it to the or one corner and fold to the V here. Or one triangle to the V, I guess, like that. And then fold up like that. and then fold along at this here to make a seam there. Make sure that you have a nice, that this is nice and straight on this side here. So your seam's there, straight on that side. And then you just take this and fold over. Okay, so now we have two of these. Now we're gonna get a little bit tricky. Just wanna make sure that my folds are nice and tight. So now we're gonna put these together. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to open it, right? So that it's a little bit open like that. I'm trying to get you a slightly better view of what I'm doing here. All right. So I'm here, I have it open like that. I'm now going to take my other piece and put the square side, this one, not the open fold side, the square side up inside of here. So now I should have an open piece, square inside. Now if you look at your square, you should be able to pick up one corner, then the other corner. So I'm gonna pick up one corner. I don't know who's calling me, so I'm gonna ignore that. Pick up the other corner, and boom. So now what I should have is this on both sides. It should look exactly the same on both sides. Dokes. So now what we're going to do, fold nice and flat again, and now we're going to take these little corners here, ooh, mine's not very straight, oh well, we're going to fold each of these little flaps, right, we have four little flaps now, we're going to fold those over, 
like that, and like that. So we were here, now we are here. We're gonna flip it over and do the same exact thing. Little fold here, little fold here. So we were here, now we are here. So we should have like that and like that on both sides. Now we're gonna get our glue and our um, paper. If you have a glue stick, you don't need to do exactly what I'm doing. Um, you can just glue it because the glue sticks are easier. I have Elmer's glue, which is a wet glue, which means that it is gonna get everywhere when I do this. So I'm simply going to glue this little triangle here. I just wanna get some glue on, the tri on each of these triangles and glue them into the center so that they don't pick up. So just a little bit of glue. I don't know if you can even see, there you go. Just a little bit of glue on my triangle. And do that on both sides. See, both sides are now glued. And then I fold those in. So now they glue down, right? Fold them in, flip it over, push it down. So why am I using this wax paper? Because the wax paper won't stick. If I put this on another surface, or if I put this on another piece of paper, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna stick. And glue and paper are pretty, go pretty well together. And uh, you're gonna have a really bad time trying to pick that up. So again, I just glued each corner, fold them in. If you don't have wax paper, maybe you have saran wrap. Saran wrap would work really good. Just any like non-stick type surface. Um, all right, so now I have this. I have a whole bunch of these actually. I have a whole stack of these already and I have an extra one just for fun. So our next glue job, we are going to glue along. So each of these has, actually here I did mark this one. So if you, I marked the triangle. So we're gonna mark it, we're gonna glue triangle to triangle. Let me do it this way. All right, these are my triangles here. I have the blue triangles and I have the red triangles. So I'm gonna match up the red triangles with the blue triangles like that. That's how I'm gonna glue this. So I'm just gonna glue around. Remember, this is wet glue, so we don't wanna use a ton of this. And then glue these together triangle to triangle. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm just gonna draw out my red triangles so that you can see. And you wanna squish these together really well too. And now I'll use black, so I'll color these triangles black. You don't have to actually color this, I'm just doing this because it's hard to see um, with the lighting and all in here. So again, I'm going to just do like a square, a couple little squares of glue here. So I don't need a ton of glue for this, just enough to get them to stick. And I'm gonna glue them so that it's triangle to triangle. Triangles cover the triangles, right? And I'm gonna smush this down so that it sets. Oh boy, I'm almost at 15 minutes. So hopefully this will have dried in about two more seconds because uh, I gotta, I have to end this video soon or it's never gonna post onto Instagram. Time constraints on Instagram, such a pain in the butt. All right, I'm gonna clean up while I'm waiting for this to set. All right, it's at about, I'm almost at 14 minutes now. At 14 minutes, eight, seven seconds left, I'm gonna see what happens, right? We're gonna see what happens with this little guy here. Let's see. All right, we're at 14 minutes. Let's hope this works. So now I should be able to pull and twist. What? 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 Yeah, so there you go. You got a cool little square thing and you can just twist them back together. See, magic squares. With a twist. All right, I hope you all enjoyed that. Please take pictures and post what you made on Instagram or Facebook. Take care.